Hi all, welcome to this video financial modeling blog tutorial. Today we're going to talk about Excel logical operators. If you haven't already done so, please read through the blog post on video financial modeling's blog. Okay, the first question asks, below is a table with people's dates of birth. Find out which of the people are over 21. Okay, let's assume that today's date is 31st of December 2011. Okay, so let's firstly copy and paste this thing down into the answer area. So control C and control V. If you'd like, you can also obviously use the copy and paste up the top. Okay, let's put today's date in. I'm going to color that, you don't have to. And let's also put in the age. Okay. Okay, so today's date we said was going to be 31st of December 2011. I'm going to copy that one down. So you control Z, copy. So copy at the top if you'd like. And then paste control V or paste. Okay, so now we're going to look at the age. Now we're using an if function here. So we know that the age is going to be equal to today's date minus the date of birth, which will give us the number of days the person has been alive. And then we can divide that by 365. Now we're not being exactly precise here because obviously there's going to be leap years in between 1990 and 2011, but this is this is close enough. Okay, so that gives us the age. So what we can do is we can copy that formula. So just go into the formula bar, control C, and we can paste it in here. But let's do an if formula. So all the if formula is doing or the if logical operator is doing, it says equals if bracket a logical test is performed. So in this case, we're saying if the age is over 21, then yes, they're over 21. Otherwise, if it's false, then we're saying they're under 21. So we're going to say if, I'm going to paste that formula that I had before over here. So if that is greater than 21, comma, yes, they are over 21. Now, obviously, if that criteria isn't met, then they're less than 21. So if it's not met and the logical test is false, then we're going to say no, they are not over 21. Okay, and let's push enter. Now, remember we said that Bob was over 21. So let's see if it says, yes, they're over 21. Okay, it does. So now what we can do is we can copy. So control C and control V. And let's just sense check these things. It's always good to sense check these things. Okay, so the first one, okay, 1990. Okay, he'd be exactly 21 if it was 31st of December, 1990. So that Bob is over 21. The next one's obvious, they're over 21. Now the next one, obviously there's there's less than 21 years for that one. And this is Bob two here. And the next one, they look like they're about 16 there, so no. And this one is 20. So they're close to 21, but they're not quite 21. Okay, so that's a simple if function. Now let's look at the AND function. So it says, find whether the date 31 of May 2011 is in between 31 or that should be 30th of June 2011 and 31 December 
2011. Okay, so let's firstly put in the dates 30th of June 2011 and 31 of December 2011. Okay, so these we can call these our start date and our end date. Yep. Now we've got a date which is the 31st of May 2011 and we want to see if that date there is in between the start date and the end date. So what we can do here is we can use an AND function and as we mentioned on our blog tutorial if you've done our other tutorial on car indicators then you should understand how this works. So let's do an AND function. So we're going to say AND so the first logical test we want to perform and like we said in our blog post the AND function is true if all of the logical tests are met and it's false if any one of the logical tests are false. So let's go AND so the start date is there we want this date to be greater so we want to whatever the date to be in between that so greater than that and we want the date to be less than the end date all right let's push enter so obviously we know that the 31st of may is not in between those two dates but this is a simple example but what we can do is we can extend this further so we can go eo month now don't worry about this we're just going to put one you don't have to follow this so we're just going to put some extra dates along here so go out there and then now what we're going to do is we're going to lock these cells so it's always going to refer to the start date and the end date so you can press f4 to lock your cells and then what we're going to do is we're going to copy this across now what you'll see is when the date actually goes between the start date and the end date we get trues here. So remember that we said it it was greater than but it wasn't equal to. If we wanted to change that formula we could change that to an equal to and we'd get an equal here as well. Okay? And the same with the the tail one. So if we wanted to we could change the formula and go equal and that would get a true there. Okay, so that's the AND function. Now let's look at the OR function. So it says the below table with test results for two tests recently taken by students. We want to find the students that either scored over 75% in one test or had an average of more than 65%. So once again, we're going to select the table. So you can just use your mouse, select the table, copy, and then paste down there. So you can paste using this tool up the top as well. And I'm just going to do an average first. So I'm going to find the average of these two test scores. So all we type in is equals average, open bracket, and select those two. Okay, enter. Now we're going to copy this formula down. So grab the bottom right hand corner and let's copy that down. Okay, so the next column, let's put criteria. Yeah, two uh, criteria rather. Um, met yes no and so we said our criteria is going to be if any of these are true so if they scored over 75 percent in one of the tests or if they had an average of more than 65 percent then they're going to meet these criteria so let's go and let's go equals or so 
an OR function says, okay, it's true if any one of the logical tests are true. So let's go OR, and so average is greater than 65%, comma, test one is greater than 75%, comma, test two, so select test two, is greater than 75%. So either test one or two are over 75% or their average is over 65%, then it meets the criteria. So let's go enter and then let's copy this down. Okay, so let's just test this. Okay, the false one, so they didn't have a test score over 75% and they had an average less than 65%, so that's false. And the rest looked true as well. That was over 65%, that was less than, and they didn't have a score over 75%, so that should be false. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. 